Hi again everybody. Unboxing of an SRI Pro Lite T5 end cap 1.2 tip. Now I've, this is the second time I've unboxed it <laughs> because I made the first video and realised I'd left the sound off so I'm doing it again. So technically it's a, a second unboxing but anyway here we go. You'll see what you get. The, I've already broken the seal obviously but all the build these products have got this seal across the end here uh, if the box hasn't been opened obviously the seals in one one piece there's lots of fake uh, Deville bit stuff but there's not really not that I've seen any fake SRIs plenty of GTIs but not SRIs they call you get some Chinese people uh, sellers and manufacturers that say SRI Pro but I haven't seen any that say SRI Pro Lite, uh, and they're not. These these ones are gold, and they're not gold. They're normally a silver colour with a green end cap. Uh, they, they just look quite quite different. Whereas the the GTIs, they genuinely do try and make them look uh, like the original. Anyway, let's get into the box. So under the box a large funnel and a 125 milliliter cup and inside it you get a, a small strainer filter that goes in there with a handy little hand pick to pick it out afterwards and that just fits on there just allows you to pour paint in it because it's a smaller cup next you get you get the gun you get Carlisle Fluid Technology CD and the registration card if you want to register that you've purchased one of their products. You get the normal thing that you get with Deville Bis on their pro lines anyway, the uh, different markers to put on the gun. So if you've got one with clear coat and one for base coat, uh, etc., you can you can mark them so that you know what, what they are because they, all these ones are gold. So that's a handy identification. Uh, you'll see I've already put the adapter on there. As I said, I've already un unboxed this once, but I didn't have the sound on the video. Anyway, so that's that. You get two brushes, a long thin one and a long fatter one. You get a screwdriver with a torque end and you get a small, small spanner. We use the spanner later. So let's get rid of that. We can get rid of that. So, so there's the gun. Normal things. Adjustment for the needle, so the fluid flow. That one's the adjustment for the fan. All the way in is small spot fan. All the way out is a wide fan. The reality is that once you go to spot within two, two and a half turns, it makes no difference to the fan, uh, not that I've noticed anyway, it makes no difference at all. Uh, and that's your airflow all the way in, is obviously closed, all the way out is letting full airflow flow through. Now I've got this with a, a TE5 cap, I don't know if you can see, but it's a TE5 cap. And the T5, they do a T5, a HV5, which is the HVLP, uh, and they also do a micro cap, which is only for the 0 0.6 tip. Uh, I, I really don't need that, so uh, I haven't got that one. But this this one, I don't know, again, I don't know whether you can see, the, the holes are really small, so the actual amount of, of air these use is quite small. So if you've got a small compressor, it's a good gun to have if if you don't if you don't want to be uh, burning your compressor out for being on all the time. So let's whip the needle out. The spring has got uh, an effectively like a nylon coating to stop it any uh, corrosion etc., which is a good idea, and also a small a small nylon buffer on the end. As with most Deville tools. 
on the needle at the back they have a small recess which you can get your fingernail in to pull out it makes it much easier to pull them out sometimes it's harder to pull pull some of them out so your spanner fits your tip which comes under like so now only four small air holes there as I say this doesn't use a lot of oil because a lot of air sorry because the the holes in the um, air horns are quite small there's only four holes here to deliver the air so it, it is it is as I say it's a good uh, a good gun if you haven't got a large compressor now that's a small baffle you can buy these for about I think it's about five for 25 pound which is about 28 euros at the moment or about 34 US dollars 33 US dollars something like that and this it can only fit one way this which is he says which is like that like that and as you do this up obviously it, it compresses this bit here seals around here and what, what happens is this eventually uh, compresses down and you start to get air leaks and you, you'll start to get bubbling in the pot. So, you know, they're, they're, they're quite resistant, but you will eventually have to change that. So the other tool you get is the star key or torque key, which is for here, removing the handle for a deep clean uh, and the other thing you've got is a small screwdriver slot which goes through there and goes on to the I don't know if you can see it goes on to the nose at the front there and that's the, the packing gland for the needle to seal it so you can unscrew that you can buy that as a replacement part in total um, but it's, it's handy to have that I suppose although most screwdrivers will do it but yeah so that's about it the pot as I say is a 125 milliliter pot uh, I've got another one of these and they, they seal well they, they work really well uh, they're not not as expensive as the SATA uh, cheaper than the R150 A and I but very 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 good very very good and that's it all right, thanks very much.